paulit-ulit na talaga ang aking sinasagot dito. Pero, may sense ko. Ewan mo ko, nasisensi yung sense. What's up, Polinyars? It's me again, Polinyar Vlogger. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay sasagutan natin ang mga pinomment na tanong ng ating mga solid viewers sa aking Facebook post. Ayan. Kung gusto niyo pang mag-comment sa, sa iba't ibang mga post ko, mga challenges na gusto niyo i-comment, just um, join sa ating Facebook page which is the John Paul Alito Vlogs and Updates. So, bago ang lahat, oo. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and the notification bell beside it para updated ka sa lahat ng videos na ipa-upload ko pa. Oh, kaya if you're interested, just keep on watching. question and answer portion. I have to recognize each person na nag-comment and nag-message sa akin. So, I have to say pala thank you to this person. We have here uh, PJ Bjarneza, Andrea, Cindy Gamlanga, Rizzy Grace Bendge, Cedric, Paula Angela Templado, Ivy Casa, um, Evan Montiposo, uh, Relen G. Ogan and sino pa ba? Ah, Jolen Cardinal ako nag-comment yung si Jolen and marami pang iba so sorry sa hindi ko na mention the name basta super thank you sa inyo because without your questions hindi natin magagawa ang video nito oh. kaya atin ang simula ng unang tanong na syempre meron naman tayo dito ano picnic charity picnic <laughs> Uh, so, I prepared their questions. I write it on a paper. Oo, kasi hindi ko dapat, um, para malaman nyo na hindi ko, um, hindi ako nag-prepare ng questions. But, my questions here are, ano tawag dito, are, are on the spot. Oo, so, on the spot ang questions, uh, ang sagot natin dito. But, their question is, um, kagabi pa. So, eto ang unang tanong na, ating sasagutan. So, well, of course, nag-isipan ko na namang gawin to kasi, alam nyo, ay, shit. Sorry. <laughs> so, pag-isipan ko na namang gawing mag-vlog na to kasi, actually, ang oras ngayon is one ata. Oo, may, pa may, may klase ako nito ngayon. But, ginagawa ko is nag-vlog ako kasi tapos ko na, na naman yung module 1 and 2 ko. Kaya, ayun. So, share ko lang. <laughs> So the question that we have here, the first question that we have here is from Julia Sal. So, so her question is, can you imagine yourself being in a relationship with a girl? Why or why not? <laughs> ano, um, it's a, eh, parang ano ah, uh, yung question na to is just from my past. Okay. So before, I have this girl with, let's just say puppy love. So I have this girl, so I can see myself having a relationship with a girl in my home. I can. Why? Because um, love doesn't require any gender in a man. Na, um, kailangan pag, pag mahal yung isang tao, kailangan babae o lalaki mo. I don't believe in that, but love has no gender. So, yun yung question, uh, yun yung answer. And it depends on the situation naman eh. Depende sa tao. So, kung that girl na gusto ko is gusto din ako, then why not? Diba? So, I can see myself having a relationship with a girl, having a baby, Therese, na nagmula sa akin. So, kahit na ganito yung tsura ko siya. <laughs> so, yun. Focus on that kasi past na yun eh. I believe kasi na past is a better place to visit and not to stay. So, I'm not going to stay there, but I will go to move forward for my future. For my present and the build of my future. So, Ayan lang yung kaya ko isagot sa question ni Julia. So, so si Julia nag-comment yun pala, hindi ko na mention kanina. Kaya, Hi Jules, thank you for this question. I really appreciate it. Kaya, um, without your questions, 
without the questions of you guys, hindi natin matatapos ang vlog na to. Kaya super super thank you and I am so very overwhelmed na na-reach ko ang 165 subscribers ngayon. So, hoping na magtulit-tulit pa ang ating subscribers. And, ayun, gusto ko lang na magpasalamat sa kanila. Uh, Siyempre, gusto ko magpasalamat sa kanila kasi they um, complete or they are completing my my my, my YouTube channel so that um, I can gain or I can give you entertainment, um, inspirations. I hope na na-inspire ko na kayo na yun. Ayun, sa mga tutorials, mga tips, and so on and so forth. Maraming salamat sa 165 subscribers na yun. Proceed na tayo sa ating pangalawang question. So, bubunod na naman. Second question na ating ay shit, na ating tatanong ah, nasasagot na na yun. Ano ba nabubunod na pag So, ang ating pangalawang tanong na sasagutan ayan, is the question from Sino to? From Cindy. Uh -oh. So, si Cindy is a classmate of mine then. We're both taking a Bachelor of Arts in English Language at Carlos Salado Memorial State College. Um, we're first year. Three years to go, ma marireach na din namin ang mga dreams namin jobs in the future. Kaya, ano yung <laughs> So, itong question ni Cindy. Uh -oh. If you're involved in a relationship, what will you do to keep your relationship strong? Oh, so if I'm involved, sana all my joke. <laughs> if I'm involved in a relationship, what will what would I do to keep it strong? Well, to keep my relationship strong based on my experiences before, because I have five exes to a man. Um to make it strong, I should first understand him. And Shepri should din dapat he understand me. And then, I have to respect him. Uh oh. I have to. Um, I have to reciprocate. When I say reciprocate, uh, it's just a matter of. Ano kasi, um, give and take it. Kung ano yung ginag yung kung ano yung ginag mo, it will be magkabalik sa yung. Just, just like, kung binigyan ka niya ng pagmamahal, then he's still the love he deserves. Diba? Kasi, pag ikaw lang yung nagmamahal sa inyong relasyon or sa inyong relationship, it's, it's, not, it's not healthy anymore. You should stop the relationship. You should end it habang magpanahon ka pa. Kasi pag lumalaya ng lumala, mas masasaktan ka lang ng masasaktan. So, ayun. And then, to keep our relationship strong, I should um, ipakita ko din sa kanya na I'm affected kapag nasasaktan siya, kapag masaya siya. And of course, I have to give him attention na kailangan niya sa mga bagay na like for example, he's down or he's having some troubles or he's happy. I have to give him attention kasi the, he's giving me an attention din naman kaya why would I give or why should why should it happen? It's just me. It's just me. Question at the sasagutan is the question from Clarence Priolo. So si Clarence the comment then tas ni kuling siya sa college. Uh, they're uh, they are completing my college life. Oh, kasi tapos na high school life ko. And I'm so thankful for those best friends and friends na naging part ng na king high school life. And I am still, or they have still place here at my house. Kaya, ayun. Love, love, love lang sa kanina. So, eto ang question ni Clarence. What is your ideal relationship? <laughs> well, simple lang naman yung ideal relationship ko, Clarence. It's just like, he can accept me for who and what I am. He can also be friendly. He can, uh, our relationship that I want is just yung mga nakikita ko sa Pilipinas. <laughs> o, yung sa BL series na wala. Uh, simple relasyon lang. Simple I love you. Simple hi, hello, ganun. And then, of course, not too clingy, but still, yan yung mga tipong relationship na gusto ko. And of course, yung relationship na makakasama dito sa vlog. Oo. 
your relationship na happy lang na every um struggles sa relationship is ano is ma conquer namin pareho yung strong na relationship yung 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 tatagal na relationship kaya sana dumating na siya charet <laughs> oh i'm hoping to have a relationship soon <laughs> sana all my joy so ayan yun yung yun lang yung um relationship na gusto ko so proceed na tayo sa ating question number 4 so eto ang question number 4 hindi ko alam kung kanino man gagaling Pero ayan, so ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang makukuha ko. Ay! Ay! Ay na, ba't nalalag lang? <laughs> so, eto. This is a question from Evan. Evan Montipos. A uh, friend of mine. Maybe a close friend of mine. Hindi ko alam. Pero ganyan yun. <laughs> so here's his question. How would you know if your partner is having an affair with someone? So, ayan. How would I know? Based on my experiences kasi, nalalaman ko pag meron na silang iba or they're having an affair, they're, they're secretly in love with someone even if na may kami, is that parang nawawala na sila ng attention, hindi na nila pinapakita na, hindi na nila pinapakita ang attention nila. Like, they're waiting for something, or they're waiting for me na mag-sabi na, let's end up this, let's, let's broke up, let's pull off. Kaya yun yung mga napapansin ko na, ano tawag dito? Yun yung napapansin ko pag um, alam ko, or I'm doubting someone, or I'm doubting my, 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 ano, my partner. Yun yung, paano ko malalaman ba kung may ano siya. Siyempre, if you're that strong, no, and you're not weak, gusto mo, kung gusto mo talagang malaman, then ask him, confront him. If, are you okay? Or your relationship? Or what's going on your, to your relationship? Like, is there someone bothering you? Or is there a problem with me na, ano ba, yun yung mga, yun yung mga, mga questions na kailangan mong sabihin sa partner mo in order for you not to be hurt or hindi magpakababad sa sakit kasi hindi mo ginawa or hindi ka nag-confront sa kanya. Like, nasa sa'yo ang decision kung paano mo malalaman if your um, partner is having an affair or having someone na mas mahal kaysa sa'yo. Masakit yun. Eh. So, eto. Proceed na tayo sa ating next question. So, ang next question, yung kanina pa nalalaglag, kukunin ko na kasi masyadong malaki. So, eto. Ayan. So, this question is from Ivy Casa. Uh -oh. Hi, Ivy! Hope you... Hope uh, magkita ulit tayo. Uh -oh. Sa sana magkita tayo ulit. Uh -oh. Kasi, I just wanted to... Ano tawag dito? To... Um, create more moments sa inyong mga classmates ko sa... Ano, Bay English lang malakas siya. <laughs> uh -oh. So, eto. Here's, here's her question. Does all relationship experience the darkest days where both party are tired and still don't want to end it? So, according to these questions, and hindi ko pa naman na-experience na, na to, but on my own ha, on my point of view, um, maybe not all relationships are experiencing this. Kasi may mga, relasyon, may mga relationship talaga na napakababaw lang ng, ng dahilan, end na agad. But in this case, if you don't want to end this, but you are experiencing the darkest moments of, or of, of your days in your relationship, and you don't want to end it, then try to look for a positivity from the negativities. Diba? Kasi lahat, pwede, lahat may option eh. You have option A, option B, option C. Pag hindi nag-work yung tatlong option na yan, you can proceed to option D, E, F, until Z. There are more options. Kumbaga, there are finite numbers. Sagot ko, not all relationships experiencing the darkest moments of, the, of it wherein both party or both partners, like the girl and the boy, don't, doesn't want to end it. Kasi, the reason why they don't want to end it because they love each other and baka or maybe na 
hin- nahihirapan sila or hindi nila kayang itapon na lang basta-basta ang kanilang pinagsamahan. ba? Diba? Kasi kung wala ka lang, kung wala namang pakit talaga sa'yo yung partner mo, then why he, why he will stay kung hindi ka niya mahal? Diba? Maybe there's a reason behind that, that you know each other for a, uh, let's say, a short span of time and a very long span of time. Maybe there's a reason behind that. And God only knows that reason kasi hindi naman natin alam kung ano mangyayari sa akin. Maybe hindi, uh, ako nga, hindi ko alam kung anong mangyayari sa akin mamaya, mangyayari sa akin bukas. Basta ang alam ko lang, kailangan kong tapusin itong video na to para naman ma-entertain kayo. And to give you some knowledge or um, tips, no? <laughs> Ayun ko kung nagbibigay ko dito ng tips. I, I was just talking like, uh, I'm just talking lang here naman kasi. Kaya, ayun, hindi ko alam kung nagbibigay ako. So, Ivy, yun yung sagot ko. Not all relationship experience the darkest or the dullest moment in the relationship na both party don't want to. And next, proceed tayo sa ating next question. pang anim na question. So, here's our fifth question. question. <laughs> 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 Here's our fifth question. Ba't ang haba, B? So, ang mahabang to is from Paula. This is a question from Paula. May beshi, beshi. Nag-close na kami ni Paula this time. When I was in grade 11, grade 12. Doon lang yung mga times na nasyado kami close. Kaya eto ang tanong niya. For example, you are secretly in love with someone. Tapos, it turns out, in love din siya sa'yo. Pero your friend, my friend, my friend. <laughs> Pero your friend is also in love with the guy you love. Can you be selfish and fight for your love? Fight for your own love and give up on him? Because your friend is also in love with him and you wanted your friend to be happy. Oh my gosh, mas- masyadong... Masakit itong tanong na to, ah. <laughs> Pero okay, sige, sasagitin ko. I will try my very best to answer this um, complicated question for me. Since hindi ko pa na-experience itong something na to. So, if I have, or if I'm in a relationship, or if I have a crush, and then that crush of mine is my crush din sa akin, or let's say, in love ako sa kanya, and then siya in love din sa akin, but my friend is in love din sa guy na gusto ko, would I be selfish? Well, yes! Of course, I will. Kasi minsan nang dumating sa buhay natin na gusto sa isang tao at gusto din tayo pabalik. And our friends, maybe hindi din naman natin, hindi din naman natin kasi masyadong alam pa ang attitude or ang character ng ating friend. di ba? Like, maybe he's just a plastic friend or ang tawag dito or a type of friend na na lalapit lang sa'yo kapag may kailangan and yung mga type, types of friends na yon sa susunod na natin yung pag-uusapan but if I have or if I'm in this case I will be selfish why? because I'm eager to look for someone na nagugustuhin din ako pabalik but it doesn't mean na pag naging selfish ako isi-set aside ko na lang yung friend ko no if naging friend if 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 gusto din niya ang taong gusto ko and ako yung gusto ng taong gusto niya wala na akong magagawa but i'm going to talk to my friend i will tell her na um what she or he is experiencing right now is just a matter of infatuation di ba like gusto lang niya kasi yun may nakita siyang na kaganda ako ka nice nice na attitude but hanggang sa ang level niya gusto yung taong gusto ko na gusto niya like yung mga bagay na ganun yung nakakahilong tanong bakit kasi nasagot ko pero still oo <laughs> sasagutin ko to so to clarify it I will be selfish and I will fight for my own love paulit-ulit na talaga ang aking sinasagot dito pero may sense pa din naman ewan ko kung nasisense yung sense Oh, basta tapos na itong question na to, and we have to go or proceed to our next question na sasagutin. So we have here still, ayan, we still have here questions. So dalawa pa, ayan, isa pa, ito yung isa. 
So the next question na sasagutin natin is this. A question again from Paula. So dalawa ang question ni Paula. So here's the question of Paula. Do you have a relationship right now? Wala. If yes, isn't love or is it infatuation? Well, at this moment of time, wala akong karelasyon. Pero ilalagay ko ang sarili ko sa may karelasyon. If I'm in a relationship right now, at my early age, 18, early pa yan, ah. <laughs> okay, at my early age, was, or is that infatuation or love? Maybe it's just infatuation. Because God doesn't give me yet, or God doesn't provide my, my, my the person that is distinct for me. So okay, maybe it's it's just infatuation kasi I'm too young for relationship. Kasi I've already experienced din naman eh. So kung may darating, then go. Kung wala, then goodbye. And ito ang question. May isa pa. And may isa pang question na kanina-kanina lang nag-pop up sa mind ko. Na nag-message na ng aking um, beshi din na si Renji. So here's a question from Riza Grace. How to make relationship long? So in order to make your relationship long, you have to be serious on it. Oo. Kasi sa relasyon, hindi pwede pasok ako sa isang relasyon kasi bored lang ako, kasi gusto ko lang, kasi trip-trip lang. If you wanted a longest relationship that you can with your partner, then take it serious. ba? Kasi sa mga bagay na yan, hindi pwedeng ano eh, hindi pwedeng ang tawag dito, hindi pwedeng laro-laruin lang yung relasyon. Kasi, sa isang relationship, if you wanted to make it strong and to to stay it longer, you have to be serious and you want. Iwan mo lang din siya nang walang dahilan, then makakasakit ka lang ng damdami ng iba. So, in order for that, to make uh, long, to stay your relationship longer, understand each other understand each other, respect each other, show the affection, show the attention, show the freedom, give the freedom that your partner needs or your partner wants. Because tayo, tayo, kung may karelasyon tayo, if o, oh, kung kayo, kayo na lang, <laughs> example ko, since you're, since you're may karelasyon kayo, give them the freedom, don't choke them on the neck and don't box them. Why? Kasi may, may, may kanya-kanya silang buhay eh. Bago pumunta tayo, dumating sa kanila, may kanya-kanya na silang kasiyahan. Um, let's just say, we're not their world. So, hindi tayo ang, ang mundo nila. We're just a part of their world. Like, hindi sa, ka, hindi sa atin umiikot ang mundo nila. Bali, umiikot yung mundo nila sa iba't ibang mga bagay na kabilang tayo doon. So, in order for us to make it long, then let us give them the freedom. And of course, we have to limit the freedom that we are giving to them. Kasi minsan, kung hindi na tayo mahigpit sa kanila, nagagawa na nilang mambabae, lumandi sa iba, lumandi sa kung sino-sino na lang. Which is not a healthy type of boyfriend or girlfriend. We have to be strict a little bit. A little bit lang. Because Let's just give them time and let's just give them the understanding. Oo. Kasi minsan hindi naman sila talaga magiging perfect. And wala din naman talagang perfect na tao. What I am saying is, walang perfect na relationship. Lahat-lahat may flaws, lahat-lahat may imperfections. So in order for that to stay it, stro- stay it long, you have to um, be serious on it. So, yun lang yun, yun lang Riza ang aking ma- maa-answer doon sa question. So, we have another questions to answer. This is from Andrea. What should you prefer to have on a relationship? A partner that is simple, na mabait, or a partner na simple pero roar? So, <laughs> so ayan. So, ang sagot ko dyan, um, siguro mas prefer ako sa simple pero mabait. Oh. Kasi, kasi yung oh, simple na mababait, sila yung tipo ng mga mga partners na ano eh, um, medyo mahirap i-deal. So, kanina-kanina lang nag-pop up ang, ang tanong na to from Ariela Nishi. So, her question is, oh, hindi ko siya na-include kanina dito, pero gina- 
ginawa ko lang siya ngay kanikanina lang <laughs> oh eto yun so babasahin ko na lang it's a question from RLNG this question is is it normal na lumandi ka sa iba kahit may karelasyon ka well for me no it's not it's not normal oh kasi bakit ka pa pumasok sa isang relationship kung lalandi ka din naman pala sa iba? God gave us one heart, not perfect heart, because it is looking for its partner. Pagka-MU, okay lang. Okay lang na lumandi sa iba kasi mutual understandings lang din naman eh. Mute, the, mute, the feeling is mutual. Kaya okay lang na lumandi ka sa iba kasi wala pa naman kanyang label. But if you're in a serious relationship, it's not good na pumasok or lumandi pa sa iba kahit na may karelasyon ka. So, yan yung sagot ko, Ariel. And another question, the last questions na kailangan kong sagutin is a question from Cedric. Oo, classmate ko din. So, his question is, bakit hindi ka crush ng crush? Kung hindi ako yung expert na tao na makakasagot ng bakit hindi ka crush ng crush mo. But here is a little um, answer from that question. Well, of course, hindi talaga tayo ikakrush back ng crush natin if first, meron na silang karelasyon or meron na silang special someone in their hearts. And then, it's not it's not necessary din naman na kapag may crush ka sa isang tao, eh, ka-crush back ka. Not unless, kung crush ka din ang crush mo. But, of course, hindi din naman natin talaga mas ma masasabi na pag crush ko siya, dapat i-crush back niya ako. They have their lives to live din naman kasi. So, it's their choice to crush you back or not. And, uh, ang magagawa mo na lang is that patuloy siyang hangaan. Kasi, we, on my own perspective kasi pag sinabing crush, pag hanga lang eh. So, patuloy mo lang siyang hangaan. Support him and ipakita mo lang na na humahanga ka sa kanya, na you idolize him. But, wag kang mag-assume na ikakrush ba ka din niya. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi, the more you assume, the more painful you gain. Or the more pain you gain. <laughs> the more pain you gain. So, Pag nagka-crush ka sa isang tao, know your limits. Oo. Limit yourself. And alam ko na kung ano ang rason ng hindi niyo pag-chat sa, sa, sa mga crushes niyo. And that reason is rejection. Natatakot ko yung ma-reject ng crush niyo. And after that rejection, mahihiya kayo. ba? Kasi I've experienced that before. He rejected me or someone rejected me. But then ako, life must go on. I just go with the flow. Kasi sinabi ko sa sarili ko na pag nag-work, good. Pag hindi, okay. There's a lot of people in the world. Maybe someone or God prepared the best person for you. Yung taong masasabi mong kampante na ako sa'yo. And eto na talaga ang taong mamahal mo. So, yun yung sagot ko sa bakit di ka crush ng crush mo. And I'm not an expert ha. It's based uh, that answer that answer from the experience I I have before. So ngayon, yun lang muna ang mga questions na kaya kong masagot kasi yun lang yung mga nag-comment. But I am so very very thankful na nag-comment kayo doon and nag-message kayo sa akin sa post ko sa aking official um, Facebook page. So, super thank you, thank you talaga. Uh -oh. So, once again, it's me, Pauline, your vlogger, saying you are blessed, so be a blessing. And I love you all. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye!